Bismillah, walhamdulillah, wassalatu wassalamu ala rasulillah. Ashadu an la ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika la. Wa ashadu anna muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluh sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome back to another session uh, of our Deen Focus in which we are dealing with aspects of the Deen. And in this particular session, we want to deal with something that's known as nasiha, which is an advice. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, al-deenu nasiha, that the deen is sincere advice. Uh, so inshallah, we want to take this time out uh, in the brief time we have together to give some nasiha, some advice to the Muslims overall. And uh, this advice is in relation to the Orlando shootings. The Orlando shootings uh, that occurred where someone went into a bar and shut up the bar and killed over 50, about 50 people plus uh, like that. Um, what I want to address the Muslims, I want to bring a verse from the Quran and the Hadith of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam on what our stance should be when we hear information about Islam, when we hear information about Muslims from non-Muslim sources. So inshallah I have your attention, I implore you to listen to this encouragement, advice, this principle from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and from his messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam on how the Muslims should behave and how they should respond when we hear things about Muslims or Islam coming from non-Muslim or non-verifiable or shady sources. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran بَعْدَعُوذُ بِاللَّهِ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ الرَّجِيمِ يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا إِنْ جَاءَكُمْ فَاسِقٌ بِنَبَأٍ فَتَبَيَّنُوا and to see Wukawman bi jahalatin fatusbihu ala ma fa'altum nadimin. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he says in Surah Al Hujirat, the full length chapter of the Quran, he says, O oh, you who believe, Ya ayyuhaladina amanu, addressing the believers. O oh, you who believe, in ja'akum fasiqun. If come to you a fasiq, a person of fist. A person who is not reliable, a person whose character is, is, is subject. If he comes to you, be never in with news, with information. He's bringing something to you. It is upon us to bayan, to clarify and verify this information. Why? Because if you don't, then and to see will come and be jahalatin. That perhaps you will bring a musibah. You will harm somebody out of ignorance. You will harm someone out of ignorance. And because of that, you will become regretful for what you have done. You will become regretful. Fatusbihu ala ma fa'altum. Ma fa'altum. Nadi mean that you afterwards will become regretful for the actions you took. What actions did you take? That you believe somebody and you acted upon information from somebody that wasn't a reliable source. What is the case when we have antagonistic propaganda against Islam coming from news media, from CNN? from Fox News, from ABC, from NBC, from CBS, whoever it may be. We have information that is reaching us from these people who have an agenda against Islam and we're believing what they say about Islam and about Muslims. How are we to believe this? This is the advice from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, Kafa bil mar'i kathiban. And you haditha bi kulli ma samia. That sufficient is it that a person will be considered a liar or as a lie that he narrates every single thing he hears. Oh, did you hear the news about the Muslim, the Muslim, quote unquote, the Muslim? Omar Mateen or whoever it may be, shut up this, this, this bar. Did you hear the advice? I mean, did you hear the news? Did you hear what they said on CNN? On Fox, on this station, on that station? Did you hear it? And this is Muslims. Narrating this with no verification. My advice to the Muslims, our position should be the position of Allah and the, and the position of the Prophet Muhammad. 
We shouldn't go out there and have to defend ourselves and say, oh, this is not Islam, and the Muslims don't do this, and we don't kill. We already know what Islam is. And the people, by and large, know that this is not Islam. But this is propaganda. And we don't have to go out there every single time it comes on the news that some Muslim, quote unquote, have done action, we gotta go apologize. No, we don't have to apologize. What we need to do is demand that you bring us the facts. If you're saying that a Muslim done this, and you're saying that this is related to Islam, and that this motive is Islamically based, then it's upon them to bring the facts. When we look at this situation that's happened now in, in, in Orlando, and what happened in San Bernardino, and what happened in France, and what happened in Boston, and what happened in 9-11, all these situations, we have been yet to be brought the facts about these situations that Muslims are involved in these affairs. We're hearing testimony from Orlando now that there were three people, two shooters and one person holding the door closed. We heard the same information in San Bernardino that there were three white athletic males, yet they, they, they took two brown people, a woman, 90 pounds, mistaken to be a tall athletic white male. Why must the Muslims continue to repeat falling into the propaganda and making us look bad and defending ourselves and crying about what we're not. It is upon them to bring their proof. Allah says in the Quran, Hatu burhanakum in kuntum sadiqeen. If you are truthful in what you say, then bring forth your proof. If Muslims done this, and this is related to Islam, and this is Islamic based action that they've done, then bring forth your proof. Don't bring us propaganda. Don't bring us a half cock story. Don't bring us lies. Bring us the truth about what the matter is. And then we will investigate the truth. We will investigate what you bring and find out whether it's true or not. I close with this. The advice that was given from Abu Bakr, as Sadiq, when they came to him and they told him about the night journey of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam when he mentioned to the people that he had been given a blessed trip of to be taken to the heavens. And his first trip was being taken from Mecca to Jerusalem and from Jerusalem to the heavens. And the people made mockery of this. They made fun of this. They disbelieved in the truth of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu And they mocked him. And they came to Abu Bakr as-Siddiq, where his name derived from this event, as-Siddiq. And they say to him, what do you say about your companion now? What do you say now about Muhammad, who's saying that he went to Jerusalem, from Mecca to Jerusalem in one night, and back, and it takes us a month journey to get to Jerusalem. What do you say now, Abu Bakr? What did Abu Bakr say? He said, in qalahu faqad sadaq. If he said it, I believe it. It's true. If in fact the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam did say this, then I believe him because he is the truthful. He didn't deny it. He didn't affirm it. He's receiving information from people who they're not verifiable. They're not reliable. They're not thicker. They're not trustworthy sources. And he's saying that I don't believe you of your words only. But if what you're saying is true and he did say that, then I believe it. I believe it. Because I believe in something even greater than that. I believe that he receives revelation from the highest heavens instantaneously. So it's no problem for me to believe something of this nature. But I only believe it if he said it. This is the advice that I give to my brothers and sisters post-Orlando shooting. We have to stop allowing these people to dictate our actions and dictate our responses to these kind of situations. We should not believe them in the first place. Anything come on the news, we should demand as an ummah, you have to make the connection and prove to us that somehow a Muslim was in fact involved and that his actions was directly related to Islam as he understood and then we would consider and find out why he's taking such actions. But if not, we don't need to be running around apologizing and crying and trying to prove to the people, oh, we're Muslims and we're good people. The Quran has already proved who we are. 
The Prophet Muhammad has already proved who we are. It is upon us now to demonstrate the Quran and the Sunnah. But not to believe these people when they come lie with their propaganda and their Islamophobia and their hidden agendas to come with this kind of activity. Muslims, I implore you, my brothers, my sisters, my imams, my teachers, my shuyukh, jami'an, al-dinu nasiha. Deen is advice, and I advise myself and all of us, we have to take the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and we have to take the advice of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and we have to verify information when it comes to us. We have to verify it. We have to make sure the information is sound and we should not believe everything we hear on these news stations because the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said again that sufficient is it that a person is a liar or that it's a lie that he believes everything or he narrates everything that he hears. We should not carry these tales and say a Muslim done this, a Muslim done that. What, on what grounds do you believe that a Muslim done this? How will you as a Muslim go and accuse another Muslim of a heinous action like this based upon something some facet came to us with. SubhanAllah. Brothers and sisters, be careful. Fatabayanu. Again, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He says, Ya ayyuhaladina amanu in ja'akum fasiqum bi nabain fatabayanu. Fatabayanu. Why? Because if not, then antusibu qawman bi jahalatin. That you will offend and harm and bring a musibah upon the people. And if you do that, And that you will become as a result of your actions, Nadimin, regretful. We wanted to bring this advice and we hope this advice is sufficient for us to follow and begin to take a different path on how we respond to such events that comes on the news. We have heard it over and over and over again about how the Muslims are doing this and the Muslims are doing that and the Muslims are doing that and it's, it's related to Islam and Islam is terrible. And Islam, we have people believing this because we come behind them and apologize for an action that a Muslim supposedly had done or even a supposedly Muslim. We don't know who these people are and what they're about. We have to tabayyan, we have to verify the facts. And how come every single time a Muslim does this, it's directly related to Islam, and Islam has encouraged him to do this, and this, and this, and this. Yet, when it's not done by a Muslim, it's never tied into a person or their faith. They are always a lone wolf acting. They are always mentally deranged. It's always some excuse on why this other person has reasons beyond a religious reason or impetus. But for the Muslim, every single time, supposedly Muslim, it's Islam. It's Islam. It's Islam. We are allowing them to dictate how we live our lives as Muslims, and we are allowing them to bring us into their propaganda. We need to stop. We need to follow the advice of the Quran. We need to follow the advice of Prophet Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and begin to turn the tables on them and have them bring the proof. And if not, we need to prosecute them for their actions and their lies against Islam. We need to file lawsuits of defamation against these people for lying on the religion and having as a result of that people being accosted and harmed and abused because of the lies and actions that people are propagating against Islam. Enough is enough. We have to stop. And the Muslims, we have to be first and foremost in demanding facts. We have to. Allah says, Tabayanu. We have to make them bring Allah says, bring forth your proof if what you're saying is true. Had to burahanakum in kuntum sadiqin. If you what you're saying is true, then bring us your proof and let us examine it. But if not, we're not interested in defending lies and propaganda against Islam and the Muslims. This is my advice. I hope that it's sufficient. And pardon me for being a bit excited, but this is my nature and because of my passion for Allah and His Messenger and the believers that we continuously see this over and over again, brothers and sisters, Ummah, we have to stop it. And we have to make them stop it by demanding from them the facts and the proof. Hada wa sallallahu ala nabina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sallam wa sallam. Subhanaka la humma wa bihamdika. Ashadu ala ila al-ant. Astaghfiruka wa atubu alaik. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.